Hi and welcome back to another Boodle Woodle tutorial on as photography processing. Um, in this tutorial I'd like to look at two quick methods to add luminance to your images. So without further ado, uh, what I've got here is an image of the Boar's Head Nebula. And uh, I'm just using this one for, solely for the purpose of showing you how to do these two uh, little methods to add luminance to your images. So uh, starting over here we have the background of this image and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it down to the little folded paper icon which will duplicate my image and give me a background copy. Now with the background copy selected what we're going to do is change its mode here to luminosity Okay, that done. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here to Image, go to Adjustments, and we go to Match Color. And here you'll see the Luminance slider and the Color Intensity slider. Simply whack your Luminance slider up. Uh, you can put your Color Intensity up as well if you like. Um, and then you get this instant effect. Um, so I'm just going to say OK to that. wait for that to finish. Okay, now that's done I'm going to unclick this little uh, layer visibility here on the background copy. So there's uh, without doing that and that's when we do it and it just increases the luminosity of your image and makes it a lot brighter. Now as with all of these techniques once you've made a change to a layer you can of course uh, go up to here in the opacity box and just reduce the opacity to reduce the effect. You can also, uh, if you want to be selective of where you're, where you're putting the change that you've just made, you can uh, select your background copy and then press the Alt key and this little symbol down the bottom here which adds a layer mask. So Alt key, click, and you get a black layer mask. Then go over here and make sure that the foreground colors are black and white. Click this little arrow here to do that. It will reverse them or put it around the other way. You want it like this. And then when you've done that select a brush and of course make it a little bit bigger. Right click bring it up a little bit bigger or a little bit bigger. Another way you can do that is to press your bracket keys on your keyboard and then you just paint in the effect either by changing the opacity or the flow up here and you just, you just simply brighten the area up that you want brightened up by adding a bit more luminosity to it. So that's one way of adding it um, and then controlling what you've added. Okay, So I'm now going to right click on that and I'm going to delete that layer so we go back to where we were. And the second way, which is um, my favourite way of doing this, is to duplicate uh, this image. You, I mean, you can go down there and uh, duplicate that and work on your background copy, which is a good idea when you've already got one saved. And you can, of course, just use your background copy if you want to. But either way, what you do now is you go up here to Image and you click on Duplicate. A uh, little box will come up, click OK, and then we've got another image that's been duplicated. So now what we do is we go to Image, Mode, and we change the mode to Lab Color. And it will ask you, uh, it's going to flatten it, we just say Flatten. And then over here in your Layers box, you'll see that the image has been flattened. Now you want to move over here to the Channels section and you'll see lab lightness A and B and you want to select the one second one down that says lightness. Okay having done that you press control A that will select the image and control C and that will copy it to the clipboard. We then move back to the original image 
and we press Control V. And that will paste that into our image in the uh, layers panel. So switch from channels to layers over here. And you'll see it right there on the top. Uh, now what we want to do is change its mode to luminosity. And if I click it on and click it off, you can see significantly increases the luminosity of your image far far too much in this case so what we're going to do again is reduce the opacity up here probably by about 45 around about 45 percent and when we click on and off again we can see that that's not so bad so by using these two methods you can increase the luminosity on your images and like I said before, if you want to, after you've done that, you can move down the opacity slider or you can apply a hide all layer mask as I showed you to do and apply it selectively with your brush. But either way, both methods are fairly quick and easy to do and they do add a lovely bit of brightness to your overall image, particularly with um, areas that need brightening up. So have fun with that and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.